Okay, uh, so today's speaker is Aslı Güçlükan from Dokuzeylin University. Uh, and she will tell us about small covers over a product of Simplices. So Aslı, you can, you can start. Thank you for introducing me. It's a great pleasure to give a talk. I mean, maybe I'm not in the Vikant University, but uh, in the place where I graduated from. Uh, today I will talk about small covers our product of synthesis and uh, and it is I think a bit a scope out of the scope of to this uh, seminar series but uh, I mean <laughs> this is what I am working in uh, those day in these days and uh, in the first part of the my talk, I will uh, give the definition of a, a small cover over a given convex point top. And then I will uh, focus on small covers over an n cube and then the product of synthesis. Uh, we will be, I mean, we can um, find a bijection between uh, small covers over product of synthesis or uh, cubes uh, and the uh, combinatorial objects uh, from graph theory. So that's why I'm mostly interested in this subject. Let me begin with uh, general de definition. Let's. Um, ex excuse see. me. S sorry, is um, uh, is the is the written. Is the written aspect visible to everybody? I, I haven't been able to see it for. Uh, no, Asla, I think you are not sharing your screen right now. Right, okay. Uh, let me. What about now? I can see it now, thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's be PBA and I motional. Uh, simple convex polytop and FP with a uh, set of facets of P, let's say we have M of them, so set of facets of P. call a function if uh, from this set to let's go to the m a characteristic function if uh, it satisfies the non-singularity condition, following non-singularity condition, that whenever the family of um, facets intersects, then uh, the their image under this function are linearly independent subset of it to the uh, here I I mean I mean there is a I hope there won't be any con con uh, confusion but I will sometimes I will denote the group elementary abelian group to a group of rank n and also the set of uh, dimensional vectors over f2 with the same notation and uh, I hope you can uh, keep track it from the concept. And let z2 fi be denoted to subgroup of z2 to the n generated by 
lambda ok so given a point in the polytope uh, P, let GP denotes the minimum phase, which contain P in it. I'm sorry, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. Um, so F is, the, F is the function on the sets and then lambda is Oh, sorry. Uh, is, this, is the same, lambda. same symbol? This okay, lambda. okay. This lambda. Also, I mean, the, uh, do you take the set of all facets or this is okay for arbitrary set of facets? This is the set of, I mean, FP is the set of all facets. Okay, thanks. Mm, sorry, and then one last thing. So um, when you say the subgroup generated by lambda of FI, well, so I mean, so that just means the element lambda of fi yeah, yeah. and the identity element. Okay. okay. Yes, it's a uh, rank one subgroup. Okay. Containing in its relative integer. Then we can uh, find a subgroup now, a uh, rank k subgroup if this face has. Uh, the k phase to p as follows. Phi, I mean, I can write this uniquely as an intersection of the facets, right? Let's say j from one to k. Then uh, this will be the direct sum of the uh, rank. On uh, subgroups, or this is the subgroup generated by the uh, non trivial elements in the group Z to FI. Okay. So, this is the K dimensional uh, subgroup of elementary abelian group of rank N. Now, let's M lambda with the Define the uh, space defined by uh, taking the product of P with this group and then taking the quotient where we assume that the point P, Q, P, G is equivalent to Q, H, if and only if P and Q are the uh, same elements of the polytope and okay, uh, G inverse H lies in the uh, subgroup associated to P. So, right, it's G. The two G P. So, um, P is Q. This is in the two G P. Uh, for example, I mean, this is the. Uh, oh, this is a trivial, almost trivial example. Let's take the two simplex. As a group, let's say the generators are A and B, and I will, mm, let this be the standard basis. Now I have the two, and let's say this is, I need a four copy. I need a four copy of that the two, and I will glue them, right, using this relation. Let's say this is the uh, copy corresponding to identity element, and let me denote this vertices by one, two, three. This will be the phase F1, F2, and F3. Now, uh, here, I will glue from this, the H F1, I will glue, glue the, uh, the copy corresponding to A, if 
My Lambda and F12. Let's just in this way. Or Uh, so let me glue it, it copy corresponding to A. So I have three here. This is F3. This is okay. So from F2, I have to glue the copy corresponding to B. And this is A, B. F1. So here. Now, Let's try to find, let me erase this, where to glue this H to, uh, HF2 in the copy A, corresponding to A. Now, since F2 goes to B, uh, lambda sends F2 to B, then A inverse times H, Right, the A inverse times H must be in B. So I have to, oops, mm. can you, you can see my, right, yeah. So I have to glue this uh, H with this one, right? And similarly, this edge uh, must be glued to, this is the edge F1, right, one to F1. Since F1 goes to A, this one must be glued to here, Right, and this is F3, this edge is F3. Since uh, F3 goes to AB, this must be equal to this part. So, okay, I have, I can denote this uh, composition one, this um, triangle, right? Oh, and this is what we expect, right? So, given a lambda, we can obtain a manifold. Actually, there is an action of right uh, z one on this manifold, right? The free action of z two n on this uh, induces an action on the uh, manifold and lambda, actually this action is locally standard, a local standard. And lambda and the quotient is Such uh, manifolds have special names. They call small covers. This notion is introduced by Davis and Ian's glitches. I am not sure whether my pronunciation is true or not. This manifold. And with a uh, locally standard action. Z plan action. Whose orbit space is a simple convex polytop P is called a small cover. Okay. 
Um, now we have a, I mean, and we can begin with a lambda and a, or a, a some simple convex point of P and obtain a small cover. And the converse is also true. You can begin with a, a small cover and obtain a function, characteristic function. Uh, and the relation between them, the relation between the small covers M and the M lambdas, where lambda is the associated uh, characteristic function, is given by Dennis uh, Davis Janusko's coulances. But before we make the definition, maybe it will be uh, to give a help to discuss how we obtain lambda from even small cover. So let's P be a small cover. And K be a F be any K phase. Let's go with M square which is um, equivalent, which I will call DJ equivalent. If there exists a weekly um, to the N equivalent homeomorphism, between them, which uh, covers the identity. And uh, they sent in a sketch show that for every small cover M, over P, there exists a characteristic function lambda with equivalent between equivalent homeomorphism Between M lambda and M covering the identity. Oh, so um, we have we have I mean they establish a relation between small covers and characteristic function. Let's um, come up here with a set of characteristic functions over P. Now, there are two standard action on this set. The first one is the standard action of general linear group. It acts freely on gamma p from left by sending lambda to this composition. And the second one is the action of autom automorphism group of p. So this is the um, group of uh, automorphism of face posets, face poset of P. So. And this group acts on gamma P from right by 
understanding again by composition actually or in automobile. Uh, Asa, yeah. I have a question. Is, is the group of automorphisms of the phase poset, is it larger than the automorphisms of the polytope in general? Uh, from larger than the? Uh, automorphisms of the polytope itself, right? We can also think of automorphisms. Yes, yes, yes. They are not the same. They are not the same? Yeah. Okay. Um, Turns out that uh, the orbit of there is a bijection between the orbit of the action of general linear group and uh, DJ equivalent classes. I mean, this follows from the previous theorem, equivalent classes of small powers over p and uh, the orbit space of the action of automorphism group corresponds to uh, z to an equivalent homeomorphism classes of small covers or P and the um, the double cost uh, okay I made a typo here because I right action of the automorphism P and the double coset corresponds to a set of weekly z to an equivalent homeomorphism class of small cars over p. Uh, today I'll talk about uh, the, I mean, I try to find uh, formulas for the uh, DJ equivalent classes and weekly z to an equivalent classes by understanding the uh, the coset of uh, GL and Z2 action and the double coset. Um, because Sorry, would, I mean, you mind, would you mind explaining what the difference between a, an equivariant action and a weekly equivariant weekly action is? Uh, okay. In the, let me tell you what a weekly equivalent action is. Let's say we have two, in general, two G spaces. F is called uh, weekly equivalent homeomorphism. So, since I am and if there exists an automorphism of G in general, We want the F to commit up to automorphism. So it's called equivalent when theta is the identity. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let me raise. Fine. Of course, the aim is to uh, classify them up to homeomorphism, but we don't have a um, such a con um, combinatorial interpretation. I don't know, is it true to call them combinatorial, but such an interpretation of them. Uh, so let's first focus on uh, small covers of Q, right? It's a, uh, I mean, you can see it as a product of synthesis also. And uh, I will discuss it first because every, I don't know, um, I mean the combinatorial interpretation become 
more uh, easily defined and understood than we are working on cube. So let's first focus on this. Now, I mean, cube and cube has two n facets, right? And we will put this, uh, and we rename uh, subject to this relation. If I denote to face by i, then I will facet by i, then I will denote the facet facing to it by n plus i. Because this is the, I mean, this is the only facet that it doesn't intersect. For example, let's say we have uh, some cube. Let's say this is the face f1, and I will denote this one as f4, and this is the f2. This one will be f2 plus 3, f5. And if it, this is f3, this is going to be f6. Um, now let lambda be an arbitrary characteristic function. Now I can associate the uh, n by 2n matrix to lambda, right? I can write it f2 coefficient, uh, the image of f5 as the i-th column. Uh, I don't have much space. Let me write it. Um, lambda fn, lambda fn plus one, lambda f2. So it's the uh, n by 2n matrix. But also I want to understand the, um, first the uh, orbit space of TLN Z2 action on this set. So Without loss of generality, I can choose lambda f1 to be e1, lambda f2 to be e2, because I know that f1, f2, f1 intersect, right? Actually, if you pick any an, uh, element from f of e n, if this, let's say we choose a subset of size n from f e n, if this uh, subset does not contain at the same time f e and f n plus i, then it is the first set, the first set in this set intersect. Uh, let me mm, choose this set to be f1, f2, fn. Then I know that uh, image of these elements under lambda must be a basis of uh, z to the huh? So I can choose them of the GLNZ2 mm, action isomorphic mm, action. I can choose them to be uh, standard based. So let's say this is the yeah. So this matrix become identity time, identity and this matrix. So I will denote this n by n matrix by gamma star. So Marsuda and so show that uh, this lambda satisfies arbitrary lambda satisfies non-trivality condition, which means lambda is a, a characteristic function. If and only if gamma star has this property. If and only if every principle minor of gamma star is one. So uh, uh, the number of uh, dj equals class of small covers over n is actually the number of is equal to the number of such uh, matrices, right? And by n matrices whose principal minors are one. Um, 
Aslında bunu biraz açıklayabilir misin? Principal Liner. Principal Liner of the Matrix is the determinant of the sub-matrix which is obtained by uh, removing um, the same rows and same columns. So, for example, uh, let's say Evan and for example, if I remove the um, second row, then I will remove second row, then I will remove the second column and fourth column, let's say fourth and fifth. I mean, I'm choosing arbitrarily. Then the remaining matrix will be a sub-matrix of this, and we want principal minor of it to be one. Uh, this must be true for every choice of subset I1, I2, and IK in one to one. Uh, let me give an example why this must be true. I mean, this, it's not a proof, but just idea. Uh, let, let's uh, show why the principal minor corresponding to removing the first row and first column. Let me call it comma star one one. Okay, I'm, I remove the first row and first column of the gamma star. And I want to show you that the, the determinant of the remaining matrix is one. But the determinant of this matrix is equal to the determinant of the matrix, right? Where I have zero here. But also it's same as the determinant of a matrix where I can put any numbers here. In this case, I am putting one or zero, right? But I can uh, recall that gamma star was the lambda fn plus one, lambda fn plus two, and so on. Now, I can make this matrix by um, little bit uh, changing these numbers. The matrix lambda f1, lambda fn plus two, that, that, lambda fn, right? Because lambda f1 is one, zero, 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 right? But since f1, fn plus two, and fn, right? Since this set is Fn plus, so this is F2n, F2n, F2n is not empty. Their image under lambda must be a basis of F2 to the n, so the determinant of this matrix must be one. This is the idea. If you remove the uh, I1, I2, I3, and I k row and column, the determinant of the obtained matrix will be the same as uh, the determinant of the matrix obtained by, for example, removing the uh, column corresponding to uh, n plus i1 and instead replacing f i1 instead. That's the idea. Now, uh, should we observe that? These matrices are in one-to-one -one correspondence between the uh, acyclicity graphs on and labeled. First, so our are in one-to-one -one correspondence with the um, okay, so I click the graph with unlabeled vertices. I will do 
minus y. Now y v1 here. And this number is known. If I call these numbers uh, to be r, and then there is a recursive formula. Uh, for this number. So you can calculate um, this number easily. Why so? I mean, why uh, epistictic graphs with unlabeled vertices are in one to one corresponding with matrices whose principal minus are every principal minus? Is with one? Because, I mean, if you have a cyclic graph, G, with unlabeled vertices, then its adjacency matrix is an n by n matrix. Uh, and if I add identity to this matrix, then the resulting one will be the uh, a matrix whose principal minors are one. This comes from the efficacy condition. I just need to add the identity matrix. Uh, so did you say what acyclic digraphs are? Like the, the, the uh, Can you maybe say words so, which that's hard to say? Uh, a cyclic digraph is a digraph in which acyclic cycles are not a lot. Uh, directed cycles are not a lot. So, like, so what's the digraph? Uh, it's a graph. Okay. Right? You have vertices and edges. You also have a direction oh, on okay. edges. Okay. So, for example, let me see. Hmm. Here, this one is, seems like a cycle in a normal graph, but in a cyclic graph, it's not a cycle because it's not directed. Okay. So, this one is also a cyclic graph. And the shape, sorry, and labeled, not make. Uh, you just give labeled vertices. It has unlabeled and vertices, which has labels, because uh, I just and vertices with a label. Labels, labels are important because I mean, when you are working this graph, uh, for example, let's say n is three, uh, this graph and this graph are different. If you don't label them, then Okay. So, um, I don't know what where to. I will skip this example. So let's denote this as the set of. I have uh, twenty minutes, right? Yeah. I think yes, you can go for twenty minutes. I think it should be okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's join with a set of cyclic cyclic graphs with unlabeled nodes. Now, the sec. Oh, sorry. The second thing I want to understand uh, is the weekly z to an equivalent homeomorphism classes. Because I'm mean, since I, ha I know what this uh, orbit corresponds, um, I will try to figure out what is the action of R to P on this. Um, on the set of acyclic graphs, actually. So here we have uh, let me write it this way. It's n copy of i, right? Uh, and every phase, right? I have uh, two n phase. In, uh, in the interval, right, we have two phases. Let me denote it F21 and F22. Uh, and this one has 
F11 and F12, and so on. I can write any element of automorphism group in this form. Xi1, Xi2, Xi n, and mu. Where mu is in SN, which um, interchange the, I mean, which uh, exchange the coordinates here. I mean, for example, mu one, two, three, send first i to second one and second one to the third one and uh, this other. And I have xi i. Xi i, let's say xi two. Xi two uh, interchange this to uh, facets of this interval. Now, but uh, what does it mean? I mean, when we are working with the facets of this. Thank you. Right here, say I send Fi2, Fn plus 1i, and fix the other FJ. And smooth sends f i two f mu i if i is less than equal to j sorry n and f n plus i two f n plus mu i. Uh, clearly, um, the action of mu on g n corresponds by permitting vertices. For each uh, here, we have one uh, vertex on this consists like that. So mu acts on g n by permitting vertices. But it is not easy to directly say what the, uh, I mean, action of xi. Uh, it turns out that it's given by local complementation on the graph. So let me define what a local complementation on a d graph or direct graph B. Let me be the vertex of B. Then let us denote the in neighbors of of B by an inverse B and out neighbors of B by this set. Then the local complementation at vertex V is the graph I will denote it a star v, whose vertex set is the same as the vertex set of D, and H set is indeed the symmetric difference of the H set of D and this set. This set is the set of all U W's which are in So what we are doing with this, let's say we have choose this one. Let's say I want to take local complementation of G at four. Let me denote it by D. So let's try to find this star V. So if we have it, then you U W in this set, which means that I have an edge from U to V and V to W, right? Because U is the in neighbor, which means that there is an edge between U and V directed to V, 
here's w is an odd neighbor so the edge fit there's an edge no so what is it? there's an edge between v and w which is direct towards w so if i have it such a pair let's say for example here i am doing it at four my four no four is not good example let me do it at one let me do it at one because there are edges uh, coming to one and going out from the one, right? Now, this edge from four to one, right? I have an edge from more, four to one and one to two. So what I did is, since there isn't any edge between four to two, right? This is a symmetric difference. I will add it. Now, also I have, in a, I mean, there are two such pairs in here, two, two such pairs. One is four and two, the other one is four and three, right? Now, um, I have an edge from four to one and one to three. So I have, since there is an edge between edge from four to three, I have to remove it. So I remove it. Okay, this is what uh, the local complementation attribute does the graph. And it turns out that this is um, my theorem, but it's not like, I mean, uh, Choi must stand on actually classify the homeomorphism classes of uh, small covers over an n cube. And they show that they are uh, the same as the isomorphism classes of acyclic graphs on unlabeled vertices up to local complementation and slide. But uh, I mean, um, finding these isomorphism classes are not that easy. You have to but uh, consider local complementation and slide. But uh, since in this case, uh, we have a group action, we can use Burnside lemma to count it. And the action of me is just permitting these vertices, which means it corresponds to uh, unlabeled the graphs. So it is easy to, it is not easy. It would be easier to count uh, the isomorphism class of acyclic graphs on label uh, vertices up to permutation and local complement com complementation. And uh, I use this uh, theorem to generalize it to product of simplices, which unfortunately I won't have time to talk about. So let me write this theorem. Uh, and I'll say a few things about product of simplicity. Small covers, or and I want one correspondence between the isomorphism classes of uh, GN up to permutation and local complementation. Open. I mean, we, we it is even don't. I mean, it is it is it is not known whether the uh, type of isomorphism classes of uh, acyclic graphs up to local complementation or their number. It is uh, an open question. Okay. Um, but as I. Just say uh, there is a result of Choi Mosto and on, which gives equivalent homeomorphism classes of small covers over n cube in terms of uh, iso isomorphism classes of acyclic graphs up to some operations. Uh, what saying this? Uh, Isomorphism, Choi, Mosuda, and Su uses the relation between 
the small covers over n cube and the real both manifolds and real both manifolds have this property if their uh, homology rings with the two coefficients are isomorphic as a graded ring then they are homeomorphic uh, and every uh, small cover over n is uh, over an n cube is homeomorphic to uh, real both manifold and vice versa. Uh, so they use this um, relations to obtain their theorem, but that theorem cannot be general, I mean, to uh, product of simplices because um, so you can generalize real both manifolds to generalize real both manifolds but uh, they don't satisfy this condition. I mean, you can find two generalized real both manifolds whose two hom uh, whose hom um, homology rings are isomorphic, but homology rings are isomorphic, but they are not uh, homeomorphic. Sorry. So I want to say how we can generalize this two theorem to terms to product of simplices. So let's say P is a product of simplices. At least... Um, Basla, I think you stopped sharing your screen again. Okay. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, this is the first time I am using uh, this. And now I'm sharing, right? Sorry about any... Uh, but... Okay. Uh, if we have a product of simplices, uh, we show that, I mean, using the choice argument, uh, one can show that every uh, small, DJ equals class of small covers over a product of simplices are equivalent to uh, some vertex, some matrices, which satisfy some kind of, um, Okay, let, let me say it. I'm not going to do it without writing. Uh, now, let's say lambda is the characteristic function, then we can associate its uh, matrix and by and by n plus and by k matrix where k is the number of uh, simplices occurs in the product and n is the sum of ni. Okay, uh, then you can see this vector, mat uh, this matrix as a vector matrix. Okay, there are vectors here by k by k vector matrix. K by K vector matrix, where Vij is in the two to the Ni. Okay. Um, and choice show that if you take the sub matrix of this by taking, I mean, you choose an, one column from these uh, vectors one column from the second ones and one column from the kth ones, you can, um, let's say I choose the columns T1, T2, and Tk, you can form a matrix, then this is a lambda satisfy characteristic condition, if and only if every principal, uh, principal minor of this obtained matrix is one, okay? But it is very difficult to, understand the action of uh, automorphism group if you uh, interpret it in this way. So we recognize that uh, I can uh, relate this with adjacent matrix of graphs, a cyclic graphs, if I give weight to the edges. So I define V weighted, define V weighted the graph, 
let's say I have one, two, three, and four here, uh, by first fixing a dimension function. Let's say it sends one, two, two, three, and four to three. Okay. Then I am uh, putting weight on the edge if there is. So now since this edge is directed from one and V of one is two, I will put a vector of uh, vector in dimension Z2. Okay. Now again, this is a vector from uh, one. So I will put a vector here, non-zero vector. So the, the dim, uh, V of four is three. So I will put a three-dimensional non-zero vector here. Then when I'm writing the adjacency matrix of this, okay, instead of putting one uh, here, one, two, I will put this vector. turns out that, that uh, there is a one-to-one -one corresponding between DJ Coombs classes of small covers over product of simplices and such uh, omega weighted the graphs. Of course, here you choose omega to, to be the dimension function which sends one to n1, two to n2, and k to nk. Then we uh, Define sigma k local complementation on these graphs where sigma is a, a permutation of SNI plus one and k is a, an integer and classify uh, quickly z to an equivalent homeomorphism class of small cars over n by using this um, sigma k local complementations and permutations. I think I should stop here. Okay, Aslı, thank you very much. So are there, are there any questions? I think I will, I will stop recording by the way. <laughs>